Hi, I'm Brad Gorey, Coordinator of Capital Projects for the Greater Essex County District School Board. I'd like to welcome everybody to our community information session for the new Kingsville K-12 Public School. After many years of hard work with our design team at Architecture Inc., here's our presentation. As architects for the new school, we'd like to provide an overview of the design concept to offer insights into how the team arrived at the final design. I say team because this is truly the way we approached the design. The design was fostered through the combined efforts of our team of architects and engineers, along with members from the Greater Essex County District School Board Capital Projects Division, school superintendents, with input from the principals, staff, and administration from each of the schools and members of the community. Our presentation commences with the site plan for the new school. In order to provide a distinct presence to each area, the building has been designed with two separate entrances from Jasperson Lane. The secondary school is located on the north portion of the building plan and elementary school is located on the, on the southern half of the building. The main entrance to the overall site is located at the projected streetlight location from Jasperson Lane. At this entrance, we've located a combined bus bay to be utilized by secondary, elementary, and special needs buses, along with the fire route and visitor parking area. All parking for teachers and staff will be located near the respective school zones for secondary on the north side and elementary on the south side. In addition, we've provided one-way drop-off lanes for each school zone to safely drop off students within close proximity to the school entrance. There will be ample parking and drop-off space to provide a continual flow of traffic with a reduced speed to enhance the level of safety and security for each zone. The program for the new K-12 school building also includes a fully licensed daycare for infants, toddlers, and preschool age children, in addition to an early on center. Vehicles arriving for daycare and early on center will arrive via the front entrance loop and utilize the visitor parking at the front of the school and the separate dedicated entrance for daycare. This traffic is physically separated from the secondary and elementary school for safety reasons, in addition to understanding that the daycare vehicles will most likely be the first to arrive and the last to leave the premises by virtue of their unique operating times. The floor plan of the building is presented in color, whereby the blue zone represents the secondary school, the tan colored zone represents the elementary school, and the daycare and early on center are represented by yellow and pink respectively. As a result of the program area required to be accommodated, the building design involves a two-story composition for each secondary and elementary zones. The main objective of the plan is to locate the gymnasiums for each secondary and elementary internally for the purpose of ease of access from all areas and to increase the energy efficiency of the overall building since the large volume spaces are located internally. Due to the two-story concept design, the central two high volume spaces that are required for the gym provide an efficient organization of building mass surrounding the gym areas. We have purposely planned the location of all classrooms along the perimeter of each zone to maximize daylight harvesting for energy efficiency and further organized into departments such as technical, vocational, special education, science, music and arts, and central student commons area. The main entrance for the secondary school is enhanced by other student spaces that contains the main cafeteria, library, student areas, and the secondary administration area. In a similar way, the elementary school classrooms are organized into kindergarten zone, art, science, 
and music rooms along with the main library for the elementary school. The library area is located within close proximity to the elementary school main entrance along with the elementary administration area. The exterior of the building is designed to create a unified building concept for elementary school, secondary school, daycare, and early on center. The exterior finishes are comprised of energy efficient insulated architectural panels for all high wall areas and architectural masonry veneer along the base wall conditions. We've utilized a high percentage of exterior glazing to enhance daylighting within the internal part of the building. The main entrances to the secondary and elementary school zones have an increased amount of glass to enhance visibility and entrance feature of the building zone. Our use of a neutral color palette was selected to complement the natural aspect of the site and to provide a soft appearance and ensure a cohesive integration into the local neighborhood. Now we'll present a video animation of the entire school building and site. Our plan for the design of the building is based on the following criteria. Optimize circulation through use of a compact floor plan. Enhance security and safety for students and staff by simplifying the corridor layout and nearby drop-off zones to building entrances. Sustainability and energy efficiency with the use of centralized ventilation systems inspirational design by optimizing daylighting, increased ventilation to enhance indoor environment. Welcome Kingsville and Harrell families. I'm glad that you can be with us tonight. I'm Todd Owender, Superintendent of Education with the Greater Essex County District School Board. Uh, I just have a few words to wrap up our presentation uh, for this evening. So typically we would be in a gym at the school and we would have all of the community members come in, uh, hear the presentation uh, through a PowerPoint at the front of the room and um, we would have site plans and floor plans set up on, on some bristle boards around the gym with some Greater Essex County District School Board staff uh, around each one of them uh, for you to come up, uh, have a look at, um, 
analyze and then offer any comments or questions uh, that you may have uh, around those particular pictures. <clears throat> Unfortunately, we, we can't do that uh, in the world we're living in right now. Um, however, we're hoping that through this virtual medium that you will be able to see, observe, um, hear, understand uh, where we are uh, and, and have an idea as to where we're going with this, with this wonderful project that we're doing. So I would like to thank first off uh, Dan and Carmen, uh, architects with the architecture firm that is designing this new build for us. Um, we have spent endless hours uh, with, with the firm as well as community members as well as um, nearly the entire staff of the, of the school, uh, both elementary and secondary, uh, receiving input uh, into what is going to become a beautiful building, uh, JK-12 in Kingsville. We do have to go through processes. Uh, it has taken a long time and we're at a process now where we are showing the community uh, where we are, uh, the designs, um, just to hear your comments or questions and also just to, to allow you uh, the opportunity to see where we're going. Our next step is to get the Board of Trustees, uh, in February most likely, to approve uh, the plans to move forward, which then gets sent off to the Ministry. Uh, we do need approval from the Ministry. Once we have approval from the Ministry and they feel that it can be within budget, um, they'll give us the okay to then uh, put tender out uh, for the construction company who would actually get the shovel in the ground and start digging for this JK-12 school. Uh, that process is going to probably take approximately two years, give or take, uh, depending on certain things. And um, it, is, it is a long process just because it is such a, a large project that is taking place. So what we are doing is we're, it's going to be approximately 1,800 students to school, and it's going to be the JK-12, and it's going to be Kingsville Public Elementary School, as well as Jack Minor Elementary School. They will be consolidated and make up the elementary portion of this JK-12 school. Uh, the grade 9 to 12 will just be the high school, um, and it will also be a feeder school to both the consolidated Jack Minor Kingsville, as well as Harrow Public School that has a JK-8 school in their community. So those students will then, in grade 9, be the feeders to the new high school. Just uh, a few housekeeping items that I would like to finish off with. One is that the plans that you were exposed to this e evening um, and will have the opportunity to view um, in the future as well since it will be on our website. Those plans are going to be placed on the website specifically for you to either print off if you choose or to look at in more detail and spend as much time as you like. So they will be there for you to have a look at. Also, um, based on the plans or based on any comments or questions you may have, we are also putting an email address there so that if you would like to provide any information to ourselves, um, we, we would definitely welcome that. And that is going to be Kingsville with a capital K dot k-12 at publicboard.ca and, and that will be placed uh, in writing on the screen as well for you to, to look at. And if you send any email to that site it will go directly to myself and then I will answer any questions or comments you may have as soon as possible and again it will depend on the number that comes in. If I do not know the answer right away uh, I will make sure that I, I talk to the individual that does and then I will get back to you again as soon as I possibly can. So you can contact me on my phone number, which is 519-255-3200. My extension is 10394. Again, I welcome any contact with that, whether it be through email or my phone at the board office. Uh, I look forward to, to talking with you. And Harrow and Kingsville families, I want to once again thank you very much for joining us this evening. I hope this has provided you the information that you were looking for. Again, any conversation I welcome with you, please get a hold of me and I will answer the questions that you may have. This is going to be a great, exciting, very large project that we are very proud of 
and our students are going to benefit from this for many years to come. So once again, thank you for joining us this evening.